We're also going to now take a look at um, another approach, template matching theory. Now remember I mentioned that the terms are all kind of descriptive. Here, the idea is that when we see an object for the first time, we take like a mental snapshot of it and we store that image in our brains as a template. So we have done this many times in our lives and we've stored away an unlimited number of patterns, literal copies corresponding to every object that we have experienced. And whenever we see a new instance of one of these objects, it is matched to a stored template that is instantly activated and informs us of the name of the pattern we have just experienced. So if I see a, a particular car, I recognize it because I match it up to uh, another instance of that type of car that, you know, that make and model that I've seen before. However, because template matching theory relies on our memory storing an image of every thing that we've ever seen before, it seems kind of impractical. The set of possible patterns that we've seen is very, very large. It also fails to account for our ability to recognize brand new objects we've never seen before. So how, for example, do we manage to read the handwriting of a person we just met? We've never seen their handwriting before. Everybody's handwriting is completely different. And yet, how can we read the handwriting of someone that we've, we've just met whose handwriting we've never seen before? Also, how would you ever recognize an unusual breed of dog if you've never seen one like it before? And so there are uh, on the screen a couple you know, types of dogs here that are kind of unusual <laughs> in terms of their um, fur and they don't look like typical dogs and yet you could probably still recognize them both as dogs even if you've never seen one of their breed before.